Hello everybody, today is day five of cooking my way through Magnolia Table's cookbook. I was craving something sweet and simple, so chocolate chip cookies seemed like an easy solution to that. So the first thing you're gonna do is take two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and pop them into your little container, whatever you're mixing in, and to that you're going to add one heaping teaspoon of baking soda and also half a teaspoon of sea salt. Then once you've got those all in there, you're gonna wanna go ahead and mix them together real quick just with like a, a little metal whisk to be fair I definitely think I could have recorded less of this part but here we are so after this in another bowl you're going to get your two cups of packed light brown sugar with eight tablespoons or one stick of salted butter at room temperature now I don't have a stand mixer because the one I want is ridiculously expensive, like I'm going to have to start an OnlyFans to justify buying that mixer. So I fast forwarded through all of my pain and suffering to when the mixture was the way it was supposed to look after brutal hours of arm work. <laughs> so this is what it should look like when the butter is mixed in with the sugar. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and add two eggs. God, I don't know why I put my thumbs in there. I hate my koala paw thumbs, but I can't get it out. so. Also apparently can't crack eggs, so eesh, we're learning along the way. So two large eggs up in that bowl and you're gonna go ahead and mix those together. My goal is to be able to open it with one hand, but if you know me in person, I have literally the tiniest baby claws. There's no way I can grip an egg and break it in half at the same time. <sighs> so you're gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Um, again, I think I went ahead and like cut off because I need to cradle this thing in my arms and show it who was boss and really like dig in there to get the consistency I wanted. So I think we're about to have a, a clip come up of where I like cut out to that. Ah yes, this. This is what it should look like after you put your back into it. <laughs> and then to this, you're gonna add your vanilla extract. I believe it's one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Pop that in there and you're gonna mix that all together. Uh, really enjoy this part because it's the easiest part before literally the worst part of the entire recipe comes up if you don't have a mixer. <laughs> My heart hurts just thinking about the next part. So then you're going to add your dry ingredients. Uh, dry, I put it in batches because I don't have a mixer and it's messy. So I popped in like a little less than half, mixed that all up. I definitely think that I cut out here and came back to it because it took a really long time to do it gentle enough so that the flour wasn't all over the place. Also use big bowls like I looked at them and I was like oh I think these bowls are going to be big enough but so if you look at a bowl and think it's going to be big enough use the next size up apparently. So this is what it would look like then I went ahead and added the rest of the flour mixture. Looking back I wish I would have broke it up into three because this was by far the worst thing I've done in like a year and a half getting this oh god I don't even want to watch it honestly I'm just gonna skip forward to the next part god I hope I skipped forward in the video oh praise all right so this is what it's gonna look like once the flour is mixed in I tasted it it was bomb now you're gonna add your chocolate chips the recipe calls for one and a half cups I used one and a half cups however I don't like that many chocolate chips so I think next time I might just use a cup but whatever if you like more chocolate use more I'm just following the recipe to a T because that's what I told myself I was gonna do and again, you're just gonna fold these in without a mixer. So um, I broke a sweat, I'm not ashamed to say. So if you want to really work for your food, don't use a mixer. <laughs> all right, now this is what it should look like once it's all folded in. This next part here is for Beth Bean only. So if you're not Beth Bean, just skip forward. I took a bite just for you. And damn, it was good. Look at that. Oh uh, yeah. All right, back to our regular viewers. So you're gonna cook these in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 11 minutes. I had to do mine in batches. I'm on batch two right now. So I did about eight per baking sheet. And you wanna do it till they're like light golden brown on top. I think 11 and a half minutes is a sweet spot. Hank, why are you crying? Don't cry. So <laughs> 11 and a half minutes is a sweet spot. Then you're gonna pop them out of the oven. You're gonna let them cool for a minute on that sheet. And then you're gonna go ahead and transfer them to a little cooling rack if you have one or just leave them on there. And then you're ready to go. Pour a glass of milk, almond milk, oat milk, whatever kind of 
milk you prefer or water if you're a psychopath. And this is them in the oven. Thanks for watching.